Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome back to another episode of Supreme Ruler Ultimate as Bhutan, or as I like to call it, what's left of Bhutan. <laughs> so, in the last episode, uh, we declared war on Bangladesh, as you can see down here, and in the follow-up <laughs> of the invasion, China um, declared war on us. And as you can see here, has slowly, methodically has removed us <laughs> from the map. Uh, right now, we are basically just surrounding our, uh, basically our capital. Um, our troops are dug in, they're uh, entrenched, standing around our capital, lobbing our, as much artillery as we can at the Chinese, buying as much units as we can, um, trying to do what we can to basically get our stuff a little bit better. Now, on that note, um, how much longer is this series gonna go? To be 100% honest with you, I don't know. It all depends on if our capital falls. I've made the decision that if our capital falls, I will probably end this series and we'll probably start up a new one. The reason for that um, is just because I feel like our country would have fallen. Um, Bangladesh would have probably at that point declared itself independent again. Nepal would have done the same thing. And, you know, surrounding countries would have basically been like, yeah, you kind of, you, you, you done fucked up, son. With all that in mind, eh, maybe we won't. Maybe we will. I honestly am not 100% sure yet. But anyway, so we're going to unpause here and immediately just sit back and let our artillery rain. Um, our fighter aircraft, I believe, pretty much been shot down. Um, you know, our neighboring forces have, by like this help, have helped us with our defense, but um, at the same time, we're, we're, we're losing pretty badly. So, what happens over the next little while with this is probably going to be a big deal. I can't see China ever surrendering to us unless we actually bogged them down so much that we actually damage their entire and take out their entire military. Which I can't see that. I'm also concerned about the default. Because, wow. Uh, let's go down to that. Let's try that. I think that should do a lot better now. Yeah, so I mean, we're, we're working on things. We're, we're, our units are in supply. Our military supply itself, in regard, we have the money. So we are going to be buying a lot of military supply from our neighbors with whatever money we can. Do what we can. Our initial plan for our war with China, which was going to be obviously down the road, was to take this territory and this one. So once we get this one, we're laughing. The barracks is ours. We can put troops in there in reserve, get them repaired up, and redeploy them again in defense of that town. Problem is that China controls it, has it. They're just sending the troops back, rearming, re-equipping, repairing, and then bringing them right back to our capital. So to be 100% honest, I can't see this lasting much longer for us, so... What I do need to do... Is build up as much artillery as I can. And right now we only have the one time. So what I need to do is buy generic... Non-self-propelled artillery. Twenty-four, fourteen, fifty. We're gonna buy the design for the hundred and fifty-five millimeter halter from America. Thirty-eight million for it. So this will hopefully also reduce our dependency on oil. We 
can remove our dependency on the oil, that will definitely give us just a little bit of, of I guess you could say, betterness. Lots of infantry unit, that's not so bad. The Chinese look like they're trying to cut east a little bit, but we do have the river here. Nice. So, by all means, this is not going to be easy to do. There we go. Oh, yeah. of artillery, getting it out there as this is best and as fast as we can. That would be four. Open up there. We're going to entrench there for me. We're going to in our capital. at the same time. Why not? So right now our artillery is basically holding it back. Now the plane will probably need to do little incursions here and there. Just to force the um, Chinese to move here and there. I'm going to worry about incursions down here. Right now we're on a current... Stop picking up off. Um, what is $40,000 a day? Chinese casualties are mounting. 
they've lost almost actually five times the amount of units troops as we have. I wish they could show current numbers, but... I mean, their number's going up. They've lost almost half a million troops in this war. billion dollars the Germans have been providing us with a lot a lot of equipment Air Force Base. I build it down here, so it's out of the way. Wait a second. There's an airbase down there. Let's 
Ah. Let them go down there and rebuild the farm. In the meantime, just my offer. No, I want some half of copper watchmen. Anti-submarine missile. If I'm not mistaken, this is what I'm gonna build. Do I have the ability to build any? I don't have to build any research anywhere right now either. Uh, yeah, I'll probably lump some of the military kids. Getting some missile tech, uh, missile tech would be very helpful. I'll highlight them. Do me a favor and repair their things. Any units that need repair? That one, that one. There's one there that needs repair, but it's not showing. Sure. We're all actually gonna go. Only here before I'm gonna build a military. Oh no, I can't. I mean, missile. Missile production facility. Yeah, I've gotta build the whole thing. I wanna build it as far south away from the Chinese. But at the same time, I also want to build far enough north that the Chinese can't attack it. You know what? I'm build it. I did not think of the military goods. Yeah, no thank you. I'm gonna keep buying stuff from the Germans. Aircraft production facilities, do I? No, I don't. Right, I'm gonna have to actually buy. Four, five, six, seven. Well, thirty-three billion dollars on fighter aircraft. Well, strike fighter and multi-role fighter aircraft. longer do you have to your belt? They're not officially moved to that location yet. Seven. 
you. Transport to console. And go to there. Good moment. I'm gonna move you. This will be good if I can actually buy missiles. I can buy missiles! <laughs> oh, evil, evil, evil laugh is gonna start up now. Missiles are firing. Here we go. to buy these scud sniff scud missile basically Chunk out of the money we have there, but I'm hoping. Question is though. Oh, there we go. Highlights. Question is, 
65. I'm basically looking at it does 35 and 110. This one almost does better. Problem is that does this missile fit? I believe it's a size 6. And what size missiles do you take? Rasha, I would like. Because right now it's telling us we, I believe we have four of these. Oh no, they're building four right now. Yeah, the range is even better. So I want, that. I want the ability to build the Scud missiles. Your size four, but your size six. You're actually bigger. Seven, sixty-five. Because you do more damage. Yeah, you know what? I'm happy with this guy. Every seven days, we'll have a missile rolling off. Yeah, let's wait till that one's pulled. So we will now officially have the ability. Boom. Do now build. Scud missiles. Every seven days we will have one scud hopping off at the the Chinese who seem to be giving us a little bit of a respite here, which is good. Because I'm going to have to reevaluate our front lines very soon. good anti-tank guns. You're not going to give me any good designs. I can't see India doing that either. Draw them till I'm all to go back to the base. I'm thinking this might be the. the I don't want to say the turning point. It's definitely not the turning point. But this is definitely a spot now where we can turn around ourselves and cause enough slowdown and damage, hopefully. Engage the aircraft and artillery. I can just keep ordering our artillery to go back and, and repair and equip and rearm. Well, they have to go all the way back to here, so we can still hit them as they go down the road.
plan is to slowly basically re redo our front line here a little bit. Just so we can kind of get uh, things a little better situated. That's the Indian military is going to keep pushing forward. back down here to the airbase. Indian Air Force units. Aircraft are moving really slow. India is pushing up a little bit more, which I'm not going to really do much about for the moment. Because my right now my goal is to just protect our capital and protect the units surrounding it. We're at three. Just look at this beautiful, beautiful destruction of Chinese military units. Strangely enough, I think we may, I don't want to say we've turned, like I said, I don't want to say we've turned the tide of the war by any means, but I do want to say that I think we've positioned ourselves very well now. Definitely better than the Chinese are, because they have to push all the way from here. Which is where I'm going to start doing my airstrikes. So immediately my aircraft are going to be told, hey, no. Just, just, screw off. What we probably will do is push up our front line a little further. And kind of, like, you know, kind of straighten it up a little bit maybe. But I also don't want to get too, too cocky at this point. Okay, perfect. Everything at the airbase. So we're going to do our first airstrike against the barracks here. all the aircraft to basically screw off because they've got something that oh there's the, the okay well there we go we got a lot of toad AA. that's fine you can see we got a lot of guys that were damaged there so we're just going to order them to repair it'll take a little while for them to get back into the groove here Time, you're actually going to entrench in our capital. Three more units are going to deploy here. They're actually going to go. Stack seven there. Let's 
looks like the Chinese are starting their big push again. So, we're going to come in with our attack helicopters. Try to cause some distraction here. to go back. But I'm also going to order these two guys now that they're repaired and good to go. I want them to take with these two tanks. As long as they can cause as much trouble for these guys as possible. longer. Uh, hundred some odd days. We're gonna order our aircraft back to the, the air base. So I'm gonna assume there's a lot of units built up here. Like a lot. Don't think three are really going to be able to do too much, but Let's see if I can get them to bomb a facility. They weren't able to do too much, but we don't have the ability to build missiles yet. Can I buy some more scuds, actually? From you? Nope, not yet. All you have is these sticks. Anti-shipping missile. Here comes another. I was gonna say a battleship for some reason. A tank. So if I contemplate, if I wanted to move up my air force, so we only have two aircraft right now, so the rest are still damaged. I want to see if I'm working on a percent a day here. Two percent a day. So basically we take the difference, which is 40. Well, no, we're on 40. So 60. So say we got 60 days left. I'm also... I also want to start supporting the Russians. Because if I can start supporting the Russians, they're going to like me and start giving me cheaper stuff too. Is there something going on over here? Nope, just the way the border's drawn. So how are the Chinese sitting now? So we've lost an additional 10,000 troops. They've gone up, for sure. They are half a million, but they have 2.4 million to go. That are currently active. We have 160,000. So, we've got a while to uh, go here. Captain an Italian Spur. Might as well take up these tanks while we have a chance. 
The hope is that if we can get some Russian, start getting Russian tanks, maybe be able to buy some cheap Russian equipment. Every time that tank, the the the, uh, the helicopter attacks, it takes up three. You're oh. actually gonna withdraw. There is a lot of Chinese stuff coming in now. Let's see if we can cause some massive, massive problems with them with these airstrikes. Take these two units, we're doing really good. We might be able to push it to 600,000. You actually might be next to If I can get some heavy duty American bombers, that would be very nice. Wait, 2025, if I can get the ability to build B-52s, like even two or three of them should be able to just obliterate targets. Catch-22s are probably really expensive to build. Three, four, five, six. You... Move back there. Wait. I have six, but there's actually two Indian units in that spot. Doing airstrikes against any units that push east of the river. I'm gonna follow this guy because one less tank you have to worry about. that other aircraft up there as well. So the rest of them are taking a little while to get repaired. How is our military supply? Okay, military good supply is not bad. We'll buy some more. Industrial goods right now? No, no, I just need military goods. Well, it's the same. Like, well, we have a bit of a up our military goods base again. Oh, I like having the aircraft, the, the aircraft uh, there. We have three unused, wait. Did I screw up the army production? No. None of you are being built. Why are none of you being built?
There we go. This gun here is actually Indian possible. Yeah, there's two Indian guns. Oh, hello. Oh my gosh. If India all of a sudden... Uh pushes them out. Let's bring in some aircraft that support that, shall we? One tornado or tornado. We till it gets to one hundred percent, and then we'll order it to fight and to shoot, fight again. 73, 83, and 4, 100. 100. 100. See, the funny part will be if, like, China tried for a, oh, it's no big deal, that's the territory over here. If I uh, try to uh, try to sue for a ceasefire at this point, that would be kind of funny. Two more tornadoes now. We'll bring them up to our capital. Oh. Alright, so I'm actually gonna have to land grab that. Now, like I said, if I could grab this somehow, I don't have any espionage stuff yet, but if I could somehow take this out, they'll be able to shoot down missiles coming at them and a whole bunch of other stuff, but that's going to be something I'm going to have to figure out in the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.